Depot. We got this RTAA here today. Stopped by external source. Automation controller is inside the panel here. And then we've got our uh, control relays. Really, really basic setup. Anyway, uh, end of the story is one of these is chiller start stop. The other is the pump start stop. Neither of them are getting a signal through the controller. Um, so I've got the customer checking in on the automation system for me, seeing if it's actually calling or what it says there. And we'll figure out what we need to do from there. I am kind of curious to see an updated. Oh yeah, no. So all this was recently cleaned really thoroughly a while back and it is come back so we definitely still have a leak we were told that was fixed okay so we heard back from the engineer he did say that the uh, schedule for the system on their end from what they can see is supposed to be calling he's got a couple of floors that are on for the air handlers so what we're going to try to do first is we're resetting the automation controller here uh, if you don't know these Honeywell terminals just pull straight off uh, when you see these little uh, round pins like that that's that's just an indicator that you have that ability so I just took my needle nose and unplugged it or you want to give these uh, you know at least 60 seconds I usually like to do two or three minutes uh, for these type of controls these spider silks um, and then we'll plug it back in and we'll just give it a few minutes to boot up, reconnect, and see if it actually engages. If it does, then I need to reach out to my automation team and find out, okay, just what happened here? Something happened on the comm or the network. Just some kind of weird issue happened where this stopped calling for the chiller. Uh, this does not have any alarm reporting. Uh, so it does have status though. So um, I'm not sure because uh, this really isn't doing anything much more than just telling the chiller when to run and when not to um, anyway and if I plug it all back in and it still doesn't bring the chiller back on then we've got an even bigger problem and I'll be getting the automation team involved that way as well so whichever way we go with it they'll end up getting involved at some point in the process because the problem is definitely right here at bare minimum, if I can't get this to do its job, we can, um, you know, get the t chiller on temporarily just by jumping it out. But I really don't want to do that because of, uh, you know, the, the it's not going to run on the bit with the building cycle, so it's going to be killing itself all night, turning it off and on when the air handler shut down. Anywho, I'll give you an update here in a second. All right, so as you can hear, the Chiller came back on, reset the automation controller work. That tells me something weird happened inside of that control logic. Uh, I need to reach out to my team and find out what happened and why. Uh, uh, they may be able to remote in or they may have to come out or set something up. I'm not sure. I just have to get with them. But uh, simple fix. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. It is the first time. It's done that uh, since they put that new controller in. They did have to replace it uh, not too long ago, actually. So, anyway, uh, that's this one. Easy peasy, not a whole lot to it. We'll uh, we'll just we'll move on. And, and my message for this is: make sure you you, you you start at the beginning. Keep it simple. Don't don't. Uh, Don't take it too complicated, okay? Right out the gate. It just wasn't getting a call. No alarms, no nothing. Keep it simple. Start simple. Go with the basics, work your way up.